Hey everyone, this is Gary back again to do another master blend to help you reduce any infection, inflammation in your gums, around your teeth. Uh, people have been asking me about formulas for that and they're having a lot of pain. So there's a few things that we can do to help remove that pain, reduce that swelling, and the infection. As long as it's not gone too far. There is too far where you might have to do things that you don't really want to do, not in our world anyway. So this is preventive maintenance. As you're doing this over time, it'll keep your mouth alkalized, keep the, any inflammation that might come there, keep it down. Uh, you can actually go to a dentist and have your teeth worked on and the inflammation and swelling after that experience will be almost nil. It's incredible how powerful these herbs are. So today, I'm going to be using chaparral, great herb, alfalfa, another amazing great herb, and nettle. As you can see, I'm almost out of nettle, so we'll probably be using almost all of it. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use clove. These are cloves. And there is also a ground clove that you can get, which is what I would suggest. And we'll talk about that at the end of the video after we make the tea. So first things first is we're going to take the tea that was in this. <clears throat> and put it in our recycle bin. Rinse it out. And we're going to put our tea in there. I'm going to turn the water on here. I had kind of preheated it, but I didn't let it go all the way to boil. And we'll take this and put it back on top of the fridge. This will go to the compost later. We had a snow the other day, so I'll be walking through the snow to get there. Another thing that helps us is hemp oil. So this is uh, Prime My Body. This is from Prime My Body. It's been pretty cool. I've only done one bottle of this, and I'll put pictures in here to show you that I have new hair growth coming here. And I was sharing this bottle with Val. And those that don't know Val, maybe I'll put a picture in here so you'll know uh, who she is. And we just did a video on fire cider vinegar. So that was a very cool video. So we're taking care of our compost. I'm going to move the camera so that you can uh, watch how I put the tea in the tea ball because there is a process that I do where I ask my body. So let's do that. So now that we have our spoon, we're going to, and if you have a wooden spoon, please feel free to use that. Uh, they work really well. And the less contact we have with metal, the better. So this is for inflammation pain in our teeth, or tooth in this case, and increase circulation to help the body heal itself. Is this enough chaparral? Yes. So we're going to put this in. Now my body, I'm using my cellular energy to tell me or share with me if there's enough of each herb in here. Next, we're going to do the alfalfa leaf. <clears throat> Oop. Is this enough alfalfa leaf? No. Yeah, probably what I knocked off. <laughs> Only on camera, right? Only on camera. <laughs> Is this enough alfalfa leaf? Yes. It's 
probably a little more than I knocked off there, but hey, it's all part of growing up, right? <clears throat> and the last, nettle. And I don't have a lot of nettle right now, so we're going to have to go get some more, but this should do for, for today. Is this enough nettle? Is this enough nettle? Yes. Is this enough nettle? Yes. So this is going to be pretty full. Yeah, careful how I put this on here. If we lose a little bit, we lose some. But... <coughs> oh, we get a bigger tea ball, right? So pick this up. Put the cover on. Put the water back on while I clean up that mess I made. And we'll put this in the cup. So there's something else I wanted to cover here because I feel this is really important. Our words really control our lives. This says future millionaire. Now when I bought this cup, I was like, yeah, yeah, future millionaire. Well, let me tell you something. Our future is created by our emotional response to our past experiences. So as we're trying to become a millionaire, and we've never been one, all those limitations that we learned along the way, all those experiences live in our body. And they are what we use in the now, because we're not conscious of the now, the space between past and future, that's where our experiences gather and we're using our past to figure out our way through that. So our future is based off our past. And when we learn to let go and we learn to rehydrate and re-energize and re-electrify our bodies, open up our, yes, our pineal glands, our, 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 all our organs, all of a sudden we become people that we have never our energy is on a level that we have never experienced before. So, we don't live in the future. We live in the space between the past and the future, which is the now. And living in that space, we get to choose what information is going to come into our life. What information are we going to use to move us forward. But we have to let go of the past to have that happen. And once you do that, it's in that space between the two that you will create your future. Our water is getting hot. And I'm going to clean this up a little bit here. I'll just uh, fill this. This is a pretty big cup, I know. So while it's steeping, let's go over a few things. So we're talking about infection, inflammation in the gums, uh, abscesses, tumors, boils. I mean, this, this tea will work for all of those things. See, there is no tea that will work for just one thing. So that's some, something important to remember. And it's important to look at the herbs that you're doing and read about them. And this is from Dr. Morse book, the Detox Miracle Source book. If you don't have this book, I suggest you get it or get to one of his classes because this book is phenomenal. So alfalfa is great for nutrition, uh, minerals, it's uh, a heavy metal detoxer, it's good for people that are having issues with uh, alcoholism or drugs or smoking. And it's also good for uh, infections. So it does fight infection. So if you have an infection in your tooth and you know that it's coming on, time to start breaking this out. And it's really good to do it before. Okay, that's when to me herbs are the most powerful is as a maintenance for true health. But they will also work in cases where 
it got away from you or, or you didn't know and you need to get this under control. It's also good for that. The other uh, herb that we're using today is chaparral. And it is good for the removal of tumors, boils, and abscesses. It's a strong antimicrobial, bacterial, viral, fungal, I mean, you really don't need to go any further than that, but this does so much stuff. It stimulates circulation. It's good for cancer and HIV patients. Uh, and then we're going to move on to nettle. It's a highly nutritive herb. Alkalizes. Increases circulation. Good for arthritis. It's great for the joints. It's good for skin. I mean, it just goes on and on. So, <clears throat> anything that will reduce inflammation, increase circulation, will reduce pain because the pain is coming from the acids that can't be eliminated from the body because they're they've settled in a weak area, and for many people, that's in their jaw, their teeth. So it's really important to know which herbs to use. And to give you an idea how many herbs are out there for inflammation, this is a small list. So if one doesn't work for you, switch to another one. Or use two or three, use two or three different ones and two or three different teas that you make during the day to make sure that you get a, a well-balanced, well-rounded herbal experience. Remember, to build your future, you have to do that in the now. And that's the space between past experiences, which we unknowingly use to create our future. And when we let go, when we let go of all those experiences, the whole world opens up to us. Our whole balance, our whole alignment in all of our bodies become balanced and we are supercharged with energy we're supercharged with with knowledge because we no longer chase knowledge when you sit in silence let me let me say it this way when you ask a question to yourself you can say it out loud you can say it to yourself and you sit in silence the answer will come to you the correct answer because your body is drawing that you're not chasing it with your mind and that's a really important thing for us to to learn and remember is our power is from within it's the within that creates our experiences outside of ourselves so let's give this tea a try That is delicious. <clears throat> now, I used to be able to not drink tea without a lot of uh, maple syrup and a little lemon in it. Now, I can have it just the way it is. And you can still put lemon in this. It is pretty hot, so part of the benefit of lemon is the enzymes and electrolytes that are in there. So you want, might want to make your tea a little on the cooler side if you're going to put lemon in it to keep those alive so that those are going in to help digest. So that's very important. So do you ever notice when you go to a dentist and they're working on your, your mouth, on your teeth, obviously, they give you Novocaine and it's usually around that tooth, but the Novocaine stops right in the middle, right here, because this half of your body is not connected to this half of your body. So you can get swelling, it's usually on one side, it's not on both sides. And if they're going to work on this side, they do this side. And again, it can involve the whole side of your face right over to that, the right between the front two teeth and the bottom two teeth in the front. So 
That just shows you how independent your body is from one side to the other. They don't know that they exist. The left side doesn't know the right exists. The right side doesn't know the left exists. Only thing that can happen is when your, this is my left hand, switches over and it goes past this line, my right brain is now picking up this hand and this movement is controlled by my right brain. When it comes back, it goes back into my left brain, which is pretty weird, but that is how it works. And we'll cover more of that stuff later. But right now, we have an awesome tea, which will help reduce inflammation. It'll get rid of uh, abscesses, boils, tumors, all kinds of different things in the body that is a lymphatic issue. So it's working with the lymphatic system to help drain that. And of course, the key to it all is the kidneys and the skin. The skin is your third kidney. So we need to keep those channels open. And I just did a video where I put a, uh, a video out about the 13 channels of elimination. And you might want to check that out. Maybe I'll connect it beneath this so you can watch it because these channels are important. And these, when you're having issues with your teeth, okay, this is the beginning of your digestive system. That's why the saliva comes down. It's a pre-digestive fluid. And it's, as it goes down, the body is reading that and contacting the pancreas and the liver and the gallbladder to know what type of enzymes and what type of bile from the gallbladder to send in to help digest that food. And if your food is dead food, basically, processed food, the whole burden of that goes on the pancreas and the liver and the gallbladder. But if you're eating live foods, they have enzymes and electrolytes in them that are helping to digest themselves, putting less pressure on the pancreas, the liver, and the gallbladder. And this is a really important, a very important key to all of this, is our our bodies, because of the way that we are taught to eat, are under stress all the time. And that's why our digestive systems get weak. It's like going out and trying to run a marathon. If you've never done it before, you're going to run out of gas before you get to the end. Well, over years and years of digestive processing that we're forcing our body to do, it gets weak. And when it gets weak, it starts to acidify. And that can start right in the mouth. So we need to keep that alkalized. Till then, I'll see you in the next video. I forgot to mention about the cloves. If you have this type of clove, the little individual ones, you grind this up and you can put it in like olive oil, uh, coconut oil, and put that right on your tooth. And the pain almost instantly will go away. And of course, if you have the ground cloves like this, you can just take this and, and put it in some oil or in some uh, something that you want to use as a paste and put that on, but it should not be sweet. It should be like an oil, like uh, coconut oil or olive oil. And we do have uh, Bragg's olive oil. So that's a very good product. And I know there are issues that some people have with olive oil, but there isn't one food on this planet that somebody doesn't have an issue with. What works is what works for your body. Not my body, not somebody else's body, but your body. You have to seek your own balance. But if you're in pain, tooth pain, cloves. Tea tree oil will also work, but I find cloves to be much more powerful in relieving that pain. I mean, I'm talking almost instantly. It's incredible. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with others so that we can all learn and grow together. Till then, I'll see you in the next video.